Hello everybody. Well, uh, doing an Amazon review out here and I uh, got a package in. Uh, here's what we've got. Let's go ahead and open it up here to see what's inside. The first thing you can see is Wise Owl. So uh, Wise Owl Outfitters and uh, there's they're, uh, I guess, 100% recyclable. Oh, biodegradable. 100% biodegradable. So uh, that's nice. We don't have to worry about the plastic staying around forever. And then we've got the uh, package itself. Wise Owl is obviously the company. Wise Owl Outfitters uh, has a few informational pieces right here, which we will go into in just a second. Uh, and then it has, oh, it looks like it has some kind of sticker. Must be the Wise Owl logo. Uh, now inside this is uh, something I actually already have, but uh, it is not working out for me right now. Um, it's been too cold and it's just not worked the way that I need it to. And so I got this. Uh, here we go. We've got some flat strap, as you can see here. Um, Wise Owl having their thing on there uh, and it's all rolled up looks like uh, let's see yeah so it's multi-stitch and we've got the ends that look like that so that's going to be a connection point uh, for us and that is because I got a new hammock and uh, here you go We've got uh, the carabiners, even Wise Owl's own carabiners um, to, to use. Those are actually nice ones, nice heavy duty ones. Um, all rolled up, pushed into a stuff sack. Now this is the large version and it is uh, navy blue and uh, well, it's dark enough that I'm having a hard time. I believe that's gray. Um, like a dark gray, either that or it's supposed to be a forest green. Um, I'm having a hard time seeing it. My color vision isn't the greatest anyhow. So um, if you can tell what that is, here we go. Nice little close up there. So we've got the color differential, uh, but this is much wider and bigger than the sleeping bag or the uh, hammock that I am using right now. Um, you can see it's stretching out quite a ways. Uh, obviously, the yeah, that is green, um, and so it, it is stretching out enough there that uh, that's the sides and the main like laying or sleeping point is all of the blue. Uh, so that's going to make it really nice because I do have a a pad that fits down inside of this, as well as I have the sleeping bag. And then I also have some blankets and stuff that I use kind of inside the sleeping bag and whatnot. And that, um, well, with all that in there, the other one is not meant for that. It is meant for spring, summer, fall-ish type camping, um, or just kind of in the backyard or something like that, much more casual. And so having something that will let me have room for all of the extras um, is what I needed because, well, frankly, I've fallen out of the darn thing a few times because I'm sitting way too high for um, the things that are in there. Uh, and so, and then of course my extra um, blankets and things like that are falling out as I'm trying to get in because I can't stuff them down kind of in underneath the sides as it's held up. Uh, but this is just the opening part. Um, let's take a look again at the uh, things here. So we've got the Wise Owl Outfitters. And then, of course, there's their little uh, connection thing there. Sorry about any background noise. We do have people doing some work. Um, wrap strap around tree. Um, attach your carabiner. And then they even have, if you use the QR code, a little how-to video for how to set it up. Uh, so, you know, you've got your straps here that are going to go around the tree. I actually already have some stuff to use for that, so I don't have to worry about this part. Um, now, I'll, I'll throw up the, the sizes on this. I do remember it is um, 
uh, 10 feet long, but I forget how wide it is. Uh, but it's pretty decent. It does hold up to 500 pounds. So two average size adults, generally speaking, are not gonna have any problem uh, being inside of this. Uh, that's actually what it's for, is for two people. At least that's what they say. Uh, let's see, thanks for camping. And again, it's, it's uh, geared for outdoors and whatnot. This guy here is actually using it more like a, a seat rather than a bed. Uh, and then let's see, they have some other stuff, uh, snuggle up outside and they have, uh, oh, well there, you've got a travel pillow and, and then you've got the hammock tarp thing that goes over top, uh, and whatnot, as well as a handful of other things. Uh, so you can check them out. They have their little things for Facebook and all that. Um, so there you go there, check them out in those things. Uh, there's even a thing on the back here that says something about winning free gear. And then, like I said, it does have this sticker here. Uh, it is the Wise Owl logo. And uh, not sure how well you can see that. But uh, there is what it kind of looks like. So you got that. You can throw that up on, maybe you put it on your car window or something. Um, what have you. And the stuff sack itself does of course turn inside out and you can use it as a little bag for your stuff when you're laying in the hammock uh, of which is very convenient I sit there I throw maybe my cell phone in there or something like that um, or I uh, you know I sit there and I read while I'm in the hammock at night uh, before I go to sleep so I can have a headlamp or something I toss that in there along with uh, a small book and they all fit in there and it's no problem. So that's gonna be really nice. And this actually isn't that much bigger, really, if it's at all bigger than the other uh, bag that uh, is with the other hammock that I have. Uh, the difference being um, this one is actually much bigger in terms of the hammock and it has, well, the strapping, I like the strapping on this much better. There's a lot more of it and it's wider and heavier duty um, obviously this is bigger though so it's gonna have to be uh, we'll have some pictures I'll throw some stuff up uh, maybe in the morning tomorrow uh, I do need to get this set up tonight uh, so that I have something to sleep in because well I fell out of the other one this morning and I was pretty well fed up with it so this is going to be a nice little change for me all right guys, so sorry about it being dark again underneath the tarp here. It tends not to be real bright. It's a little cloudy today too, but there is the setup. So I've got the hammock there. Again, this is 10 feet long. Um, this is the double size. And as you can see, I've got a small camp pillow in there. I've got a very big overstuffed size sleeping bag and then underneath this sleeping bag you can see we've got an air mattress um, part of that is a big part of that is for insulation and let's get down in there deep sorry you can't see very well there and then that is a reflective ground mat actually um, it's folded up as you can see a couple layers to it um, because that is supposed to be for underneath a a uh tent but it uses and it keeps all that heat up so sleeping inside of a hammock even in the winter is not uncomfortable because you do not have the cold air blowing underneath and freezing you from the bottom even though you're covered on top uh it it is that that, that prevents it so anyhow that's why i needed a bigger one because that other one was just it was just too small just too small around as you can see this I've got I've still got lots of lots of working room here um, I mean I have this here which you know that's not saying a whole lot for those parts but this part over here it's wrapped around I've still got quite a bit of material so all that stuff is not centered uh, just yet or quite right right now everything's off balance as it is so but uh, lots more room. Um, honestly enough, this is big enough that I could actually stretch it this way or, or on a diagonal much easier because 
it is so big um, that laying on like a diagonal actually generally is one way they suggest you use them so that you have more room instead of being cocooned and bananaed like this thing. Uh, you know, you look like a big old banana, big old blue banana. But there we go. Uh, looks great. Uh, like I said, it performed great last night. It was not nearly as hard to get into and stay in as the other one. Because once you get past the sides and get your, get your center of mass um, underneath that edge, um, which since there's more material, it's easier to pull that up over you. It's much easier just to, to stay inside. I could sit up in this thing and not have an issue. Um, of course, don't over tighten these. If you over tighten them, you're going to put your center of balance above the, um, above the actual balance point. And that's what makes it more like trying to walk a tight rope when you're trying to deal with that. Anyhow, if you guys want to check this out, you can go down there in the description below. There is going to be the links to the social media down there as well as the link to this on Amazon. Uh, and of course, on your way down or on your way back up, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to ring that bell so you know when new videos are coming out here on World of Me. Uh, and if you'd like to help out the channel, there is that little uh, link, even the QR code for uh, PayPal, for donating. Uh, that is always appreciated and it does help a lot um, with the channel. Anyhow, guys, I'd like to wish you all a good day and I will see you later. Bye.